The concept of 3D isn't new. It's been around for more than 100 years. In fact, creating a 3D image is relatively easy. All you need to do is take two images from slightly different angles. This is the top of the Lee Tunnel shaft that plummets 75 metres straight down. It's one of the deepest tunnels ever dug in the UK. It's an incredible feat of engineering. Here's a smartphone, and here is a blender. I'm going to make a smartphone smoothie. Obviously, don't try this at home. Take a, a carrot, say, and you freeze it in your freezer slowly, and then you thaw it out, you end up with something like this. It goes all disgusting and floppy. Look, if I squeeze it, all the water will just run out. I've always been fascinated by flames. They're elegant, beautiful, and when you think about it, extremely weird. They don't appear to be made of anything, yet they have an extraordinary power, both as a source of light and heat. This is hydrogen peroxide. That's the kind of stuff you use to Bleach your hair. This is entirely natural, I'll have you know. No <laughs> I bleach. I believe you. <laughs> Carry on. So this stuff, yes, but it is. It's, it's a bleach. And the key thing about it is if you add the right ingredients to it, we can get it to foam up. I'm forever blowing bubbles. And now the liver. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. That's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> If you're lucky, you've got 15 minutes. So a fast rescue is critical. Uh, and if you're going to go off piste, away from where they patrol, what you need is, where is it? One of these things here. This is a bit of kit that sends out a radio signal so that the ski patrol can find you if you get buried. To be accurate, I have to exclude any numbers that do have a limit to their total tally of digits, like page and telephone numbers. What you might have expected was to see a nice even distribution across the board, but you don't. You get this huge spike at the one end where I've got 33% of all the numbers we tallied started with a number one. We've commissioned this huge chute to mimic the shot tower and we need a specialist lead worker because clearly this is incredibly dangerous. Not only are we well, far too high for my comfort, but we're going to be dropping molten lead from up here, which is going to be very hot, and it's poisonous as well. We're having to improvise a little because lead shot hasn't been made in Britain for over two decades. Oh, it went through, it went through. We've dropped molten lead. Let's go and see if we've made lead shot. <laughs> lead shot there, look. We've made lead shot. Not only did Blackley discover the cause of hay fever and devise a method for testing sufferers, he also managed to silence the critics that didn't understand how it was that you could have hay fever when you were in the middle of the city rather than standing in a meadow full of grass and pollen, which is exactly what I'm doing. And you know what? I'd really like to get out of this field, please, and go and take my antihistamines. So. <sighs>